Hello and welcome to another one of these Bucket Talk News videos where I just talk and ramble. First of all, sorry for the April Fool's joke last week, but we just could not help ourselves. I hope you at least got a good kick out of V's voice actor Aldi Bacha talking about his role in Bakugan. Link to the full interview in the description below. Bada But I can assure you that the news we are about to talk about is no April Fool's joke. Now, if you may recall, there have not been much news in Bakugan lately. It seems like Spin Master has really been quiet regarding the status of the brand. The official Bakugan channel has been relegated to posting clips of the Gen 3 show and comparing it to the Battle Brawler series, I guess. And remember, some of the biggest news have been is that Season 2 of Gen 3 is not greenlit yet, and it's been because, according to the 2023 Q4 reports, Bakugan Gen 3 is not doing so well regarding sales, and Spin Master wants to cut back on content delivery to drive up and save more revenue. But according to Drago's voice actor Kyle Derrick, as well as my own insider sources, Season 2 of Gen 3 is practically almost done. The production of it is like 70% finished or something, save for a few touches, editing, and of course voice acting, but production is just completely stalled and halted because it's not greenlit and Spin Master seems like they're trying to figure out what to do. Meanwhile, we have seen previous leaks of Year 2 toys from Louis Chen, including the dreaded Shape Fury Dragonoid. <laughs> Holy fish paste! What is that?! But now, we got more leaks of stuff thanks to Instagram user HapDrago4004 who had previously leaked things before. So, we got a look at a new blue titanium special attack octagon that is just reusing the mold and character card artwork from the original core version, but the spin wheel on the toys have changed up a bit and the gear cards along with using the clan symbol to identify the color of gear is also colored fully around the border to match the color of the physical ring. Oh yeah, also a new gate card, though it looks like they're going for more translucent plastic for these. The Dragonoid V1 just reuses the artwork from the core Dragonoid, the toy itself looks like it's reusing the gold special attack mold, and Blaze Swords is so purple it looks like it was vomited out of every Darkest Bakugan in the past two generations. The packaging features an FPO of gold special attack trucks, FPO meaning for placeholder only, meaning that these aren't even the finished product, they're meant for probably showing to investors at meetings or something. Now unfortunately with information that I have now, these might not end up seeing the light of day as an insider source has told me some pretty damning news that indicates a bad sign for the future of Gen 3. So this anonymous source is actually a leaker that got this information from a person who has a factory contact in China. Now keep in mind what I'm about to tell you is practically hearsay so do take this with some grains of salt but given the context of events I have laid out it's pretty plausible. Now, in the conversation I had from this verified credible source, apparently all factories making the Bakugan in China have stopped production over half a year ago. This lines up almost perfectly with the news that Shape Fury was leaked and why there have not been any new updates for Season 2 for almost half a year. The people in China that are usually the cause of toy information leaks because, let's be honest, these leaks happen because they get stolen off the assembly line or from the trash bin, they are not able to obtain them since production has been halted. The same way that Season 2 of the anime has been been halted because Spin Master has not greenlit it yet. And I think one of the most concerning news I got from this person was this. All Season 2 Bakugan were destroyed and cancelled, so Spin Master has ordered the Bakugan products that have already been produced ahead of time to be ready to be shipped out to sell to be destroyed. That is pretty alarming. Now, I don't know if this is actually just a China thing. Spin Master, I think, has factories in Vietnam and the Philippines, but there is no word about the status of those, though not that I can find at least. So, what are my thoughts on this? Well, I'm kind of mixed on it. On one hand, I don't want Gen 3 to fail. I never wanted it to fail or get cancelled. I may have had my criticisms about the toys and the gameplay of this gen. I think it's not good that they relegated Bakugan to being second best at Beyblade when Bakugan stood on its own identity, and the anime was really good, I quite enjoyed it myself. But on the other hand, if this is true, then you can't really be surprised and Spin Master shot themselves in the foot with this one. The toys are fine I guess, but the thing is, there was no gameplay. Bakugan has always been a brand where it was a game, not just collecting cool toys. The gameplay for Gen 3 was a glorified slot machine instead of tests of skill and strategy. So they really got no one to blame but themselves. If Gen 3 had compelling gameplay along with these new Bakuguns, maybe the numbers would not have been so bad. The only great thing about this reboot was really Ventry, and I think Ventry was the one that sold the most because she wouldn't stay on the shelf. However, we do have to take under consideration that Shape Fairy Penji and other Year 2 toys were pre-listed on Amazon for pre-order, so this might have been a late decision or maybe they're still going ahead with just one wave, who knows really. 
I'm not at all opposed to reboots. I get it. It's a toy brand and it happens. But not only was this reboot just too close to Gen 2 ending, but this reboot has to have been good. Otherwise, no one would get invested in it. And unfortunately, that's what happened here. Again, take this with a grain of salt. I am not entirely sure how true this is, but it does make sense considering the timeline of events that has been happening. Spin Master is set to report their first quarter of 2024 on May 7th, with the shareholder meeting being held on May 8th. The previous meeting didn't mention Bakugan status, but maybe this one will give us some info, no matter how vague it might be. Plus, we could see if Bakugan did any better in the numbers. Again, I want to clarify that this is just hearsay and it's just what I heard. Nothing I've said is official, and until there's actual official announcements being made by Spin Master, Gen 3 is technically not dead yet. But what do you all think about this? Let me know in the comments down below. Support Bakugan by pressing the thumbs up and give us a subscribe for more awesome Bakugan content. I've been Haru Red. Thank God for Rapid Fire. Ventry is based. I'm going to go play some Genshin Impact now. Bye!